What makes this dough so special, Dave? Hmm? Like, what else would you use this dough for? Tried just frying a piece of that like that? Like a pancake? I don't know if to boil these. Like, mm -hmm. like that? Hmm. I don't know if she fries it before us or we just eat them at home. Mac and pierogi! And she called them sir. She just called them circles? <laughs> we only got them if she ever ran out of them. Good Harry's Ukrainian Kitchen made some. They're the size of a loony or toony. And then put a sour cream and dill and garlic. And they were deep fried. That'd be good. Even those hash browns, uh, when I fry those up, wrap them in those. That'd be pretty good. Got one tray left. Parogish. So this tray, these two trays, that's 25 minutes. Okay. And then we're going to boil these right away? Yeah. Okay. And then we can't really do any more today? Well, I have other trays, but they don't sit in as well as these ones do. And I don't know how much freezer space we have. Like in here or in the trailer? I think we'll make some room. I don't think 25 all these trays will fit in the Pinch, 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 pinch. So how much do you, all your recipes normally make? Forty? Mm. Uh, no. Each uh, thing of dough makes anywhere from 12 to 15. Depends on how small they are. See, some of them are fucked up. But it don't matter, because they're homemade, so go yourself. See, I can kind of fix them. But sometimes you get ones like, uh, like these two in here. They don't need to be fixed because of the milk. But they're machine made, they all look the same. Hell no machine. No. That's not the way you make pierogies. The dough sheeter would be nice. For stretching out the dough? And save the box. Yeah, because it's consistent then all the time, yeah? But... Fucking Mike had one sitting there. Right. In Pizza Hut. Oh. But I don't know if it worked though. I think that's probably why it was sitting in the back, it was broken. 
I don't think he owns any of the pizza. I don't think he does either. It kind of sucks that he got a divorce after he found out he had cancer. Yeah, but he was with another lady, so he must be happy. And you know what's funny? I never noticed anything in between them. Like, I've been to their house, I don't know how many times, and they seem to get along fine. Like, yeah, but some people can cut a shot. Too. Just fake it till you make it? Okay. Fake it till you finally get divorced? I wonder if Ty's still living at his mom's house then. I wouldn't think so, because he has a girlfriend, doesn't he? With all his money, he should have his Oh, girlfriend. uh, yeah. I think you know his girlfriend. It's, um, she used to work at the 40. She was a waitress. No, uh, well, in with, the bar? In the bar, yeah. Tall, skinny girl. Fuck, I can't remember her name. You'd know her if I told you. Yeah, showed you. Not Amy. Cause she's going out with no, it's not Amy. Girl. No. It'd be funny if Ty was still living at his mom's house. This fucking kid, he's like 26, 28 years old. He's a fucking millionaire already. During COVID, he bought all these hand wash stations before COVID. Had no idea what he was going to do with these fucking hand wash, like portable hand wash stations. So outside the stores and stuff, you remember you have to wash your hands before you go in the store? He bought a shitload of those fucking things and made a fuckload of money. But he was already a millionaire before he even did that. He just has the craziest shit luck when it comes to buying stuff. And he's into real estate. Yeah, he's a real estate agent as well. Rentals. Uh, what? Party rentals. Oh, yeah. Rentals. Tents, tent events. He owns all the tent events that are around. He bought them all out, so he has full control over all the tent events. Bouncy castles, shit like that. Like, say you're having a wedding or something. He provides all the chairs, all the tables and everything. Tent. But fuck, kid's fucking smart. I can't believe. Yeah, and then he bought a septic service. So now he can clean out all his urinals. I mean, porta potties. Um, do you want me to start tossing in? We'll just finish this and then. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, Beautiful day outside. My bird's in the fucking bedroom because he's being a fucking bad boy. Being bad. I'm thinking that's a cage that needs to be cleaned. Fucking ran into a stick yesterday, or stabbed myself with a stick. Fucking got me right there the other day. One in a million shot. Whew. Before she was just using a spoon to put the potatoes in. Are you going to use this thing here, or are you just going to use an ice cream pail again? No, I'm going to use the White big one? thing, yep, because I'm going to do two trees at a time.
Stage two. That's stage three. This is how we can. You guys lay it like here, I'll do a different style pinch on one of these. You guys like your pearlies when they have a big fat lip on them? Or do you prefer them with a nice tight lip on them? I kind of like the fat lip. Really lets you know that they're homemade. The only reason I'm doing them tight like this right now is because I'm just in a hurry. It takes a little bit longer to get those fat lips on there. How do you prefer your pierogies with the fat lip? This way there. Yeah, like, the fat lip The fat lip? Mm -hmm. Well, this is how my Nana made pierogies. She really fattened this out. Oh, so it pushes the filling. Tighter in there. No airspace. But then they have a tendency to want to blow up then, don't, don't they? You think with the fatter lip on there, it'd keep them tighter. Like, no, because it's the gases that pull them inside. They pop like a balloon. How many did you say we needed? Uh, six more. Oh no, uh, uh, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah, that should be good. Elections are coming up in Canada. Just provincial elections. See what happens. You know that stupid fucking cunt, Heather Stephenson, just fucking everything up for the PC party. Had the PC call us the other day. I didn't tell Sandra I'd called them. And then Democrats called us yesterday. Yeah, NDP called us yesterday. New Democratic Party. That's with Jitmit Singh, who is now in some fucking hot water with uh, India. He got caught on a in a video sitting next to a terrorist. And yes, the guy is an actual terrorist. He wanted to arm and arm civilians so they could go after the government. The last one. Now for stage two. Okay, so this is what we're doing next. I guess I'll get the What do you need that screen panel for? To transport probies from here. Oh, to there. Why don't I just bring that tub over here? Yeah? 
Oh. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, there's an ice cream pail. No shortage of ice cream pails around here. And those two don't want to go. Normally when they're floating like that, it means they're done, but those ones just don't want to seem to go down. Oh, they were down. They were the first ones. Oh, those were the first ones in? <clears throat> Your big scoop. Oh, it's hanging in there. Yeah, I need a few more nails put in there. Okay. Will that fit over the head of those screws? Yeah, that's where it was hanging. Okay. Finishing up stage two of the parodies. And then we gotta transfer everything into this, which is full of cold water, because we gotta stop the cooking process. And then we're off to stage four. How many dozen are in that pot right now? Five. Five dozen pierogies, which I will never see near my mouth. It's funny, we get to make all this fucking food and we never get to really eat it. Special occasions? Christmas. Christmas? Not even Easter? I don't recall ever having any. Did you just pull us out of the cupboard? Yes, I did. Oh. They are alive. Keep it gangsta, y'all. Keep it gangsta. Keep it gangsta. So $250 worth of food. Yeah. 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 in how many hours? Four? Yeah. Four hours. How much of that is food cost? Mm -hmm. Probably not very much. Well, and we're using our own potatoes that we got for free from a friend of ours. Actually, no, what did George... We traded George something for those potatoes, pepper didn't we? Hmm? Pepper plants? Oh, yeah, I gave him a bunch of peppers and tomatoes and cucumbers, cucumbers already pre-planted before you could even get anything in the ground. I try and grow my plants inside the house before I before I, before you even can. So now that they're cooling off in there, we separate into tray here. I guess this would be stage five, right? And then there'll be a sixth and final stage. And now, these go to, well, which freezer? The freezer out there, the fridge freezer. 
fridge freezer. and then we can stack them and then they don't fall into the tree. Okay. Do mm -hmm. you want me to get this other one going? Start the trace, and then they don't fall in on each other. Squish the frogies. Now we wait till they freeze, and then we bag them. Can you get the, get the main door for me? There's one that I want to cook. Yeah, just two. as I drop my phone in there.
Where the pierogies are right now? Or the water boil? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to wait for those. Wait for you to start. What do you guys put in your pierogies? All the wife's mutters. <laughs> Off to the trailer. Yeah, those are buns. number two. Yeah, I think that one will be okay. That should work. Cool. Now I got room for more pierogies. potatoes from this year that's not even fucking half of them that bucket was full that bucket was full and then I got another bucket <sighs> nice little tiny tomato uh, potatoes I really like these I just wash them and fucking throw them in the oven people pay extra of those little fucking tiny potatoes 
I don't know why. I leveled it out, so uh, product well not finished product they're freezing now <sighs> this should be on the uncomfortable wife's channel She won't tell me how she makes her pierogi, though. And she won't tell me what, how she does her... Well, you'll tell me how to make the insides, eh? You just won't tell me how to make the dough. What do you tell people when they ask you for your pierogi dough? I've only ever given it to one person. They live in Fort Mac, Alberta, so definitely no competition. <laughs> She's a stickler about her fucking recipes. <laughs> what? Or maybe where they. What? Okay. Not really about worried about burning myself with the hot water. So, you know about me and burns. Definitely not shy of burns. place I was looking at up in Winnipeg it's supposed to be really famous but they had shut down in 2017 I think they were going to be moving to a different location but I think that had fallen through so I don't know whatever happened to that got two more trays Yeah, it collapsed. These are good, eh? Yeah. 
Aha! You thought you could hide from me. Uh, there's two more in the fridge. Um, no, yeah, there's still two more trees. Because there's only 15 dozen in there so far, so... Okay. Just go with it. That water's pretty warm, so it's going to take a few minutes. Last bag. Your average size pierogi. What's pedish go, babe? Uh, baked pierogi. Baked. baked dough instead of. So what do you use? Just p pizza dough? Mm, maybe. Into all my secrets. So it's a special recipe too for that dough. No. <laughs> is really Ukrainian that you make. Um, What's something I haven't seen that people ask you to make? I don't think anything. You've seen me make Nalashnikov, right? Nalashnikov? What is that? That's a crepe. Okay, yeah, yeah. I remember those. Those are really good. Sanom. Sanom. No name. Everything's gotta be in fucking French. Chur Krot. Product of the USA. Hmm. Blah blahs. Yeah, they're not going on strike either. What? Law blahs are supposed to be going on strike? They were supposed to, but they can't play anything. So everyone's getting paid more. So do these? Oh, I'll take this water out and get rid Yeah, just dump it in that pail right there. Mm 
used to do. Dump it outside? Even when she had running water. Yeah, well, it's just water. Why put it down the drain? cats in the trailer and I know why I got catnip drying in there yes I grow my own catnip because the shit you buy in stores for your cats is garbage the shit I use and fucks up cats bad it even fucks up small dogs did any of you guys know like you have a small dog like a chihuahua or like a pomeranian or something like that or like a what's the other one a miniature pincher or something. If you give them catnip, it actually fucking works on these little dogs. They get all fucking fucked up just like a cat. Or they fucking pass out. They just don't know what to do. And just knocks them out. No. Sorry, I forgot. Yeah, I know. Because he has it everywhere out there. The catnip? Yes. Uh, I left it open because I thought we were going to start taking pierogies out there. Well, yeah, that'd be good. Well, they don't know where you live. Look at this one. See, this is the one I fat, fat checked. This is the one that I pinched really hard around the, to make a fatter edge. Look what I just did. Fuck off. Look at what happened. Sit up. Look at that bubble. Bubble, bubble. Whoa. Hey babe, that one that I fat lipped. Check this out. Oh no, I'm pulling it out before it. Well, this water's no good, anyways. Look at that. Mm -hmm. She's about to pop. Nice white pierogies. These are just cheese and potato. Next will be cheese bacon. Make sure there's no one hiding in here. And that pail may fall off right now. Okay. <coughs> We're done with that water now too. Starting the cooling process. Make sure that they stop cooking. Oh, my oh, I can't. Oh, I can't count the. Yeah, the fetish chair and the other chiller, right? Yep. Wonder and the other many. cooler, or, uh, freezer. Let's see how many I can unload in there. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Tomorrow we're doing this on your channel. My channel's more like blowing shit up and talking about bullshit. Just ramble on. Ramble. So I need eight dozen out there. Eight dozen sauerkraut? No, fetish cow. No, shit. Eight dozen? Fuck Because I have one guy ordered two and then she ordered six. Well, I'll go check. 
And did you put those dill pierogies off to the side? See what fuck they got into. Oh, fuck. Oh, now I'm looking for Pedishka. This is a Pedishka. It's a dough pierogi. You just put them in the oven and you put a cheese sauce on them. And these are beet leaf halopshis. Oh, beet leaf halopshis. Can pretty much only make these one time a year. Gotta have a lot of beets in your garden. <sighs> <laughs> Gangsta y'all, keep a keep a gangsta y'all, keep a gangsta. Fucking beautiful day today. I think I'm gonna burn that pile of shit today. It's gonna be fucking big. That fire pit's probably 10 to 12 feet wide. It's just a giant fucking circle for burning. never gonna believe this. Eight dozen? Exactly, yeah, yeah. eight dozen left. <laughs> you probably want me to get the door? Yeah, if you want me to I did pin it. Here, I got it. There you go. Pettish car. Ugh. What's next? Oh. Got a little bit of filling left for the cheese and potato. Mm. Make cheese and bacon tomorrow. Mm. Maybe next day do uh, dill. We're trying to build up our inventory right now. So... We might do another 25 dozen today, so that'll be 50 dozen pierogies. So that's $500 worth of pierogies in one day that we can make. Which isn't too bad. And then our costs are kept down pretty good because we're using our own potatoes now. And nothing better than potatoes. Fresh, right out of the garden potatoes. We did have a little bit of an issue this year and last year. Uh, uh, here, I'll show you. You guys see that? That's called blight. It's just something in the soil that seems to affect potatoes and beets and certain vegetables. But there's nothing wrong with this blight. It's not harmful. It won't kill you. They do recommend, though, that you peel. Did Elmo sneak by you? Elmo? What? He was in here? Oh, I didn't. He was outside, but I didn't see him when I... Oh, he went running away when I went back out there. So, Blight, it's not bad. Just peel your potatoes. It's harmless. <laughs> Won't be doing baked potatoes with those, though. Are you dumping this all outside? Oh, so you can eat this, Blight? It doesn't... There's nothing. It just no. looks bad. Oh, so it's just all... The... That's why they don't like it, is because of the peel. Hmm. Where's the one that had grass in it? 
One potato had grass growing right through it. Oh. <sighs> well, that's pretty much it, eh? Mm. Are we gonna do more tonight? No, my knee's empty. Yeah, my feet are getting sore from just standing here. But I'm putting pressure on one foot and on the other. Oh, I'm gonna go for a cigarette. That's it. That's it for pierogies today. <clears throat> Wife's leg, knees and elbows are sore. From rolling dough and stuff. And just standing in the same fucking spot for like a couple hours. If you guys want the recipe, you ain't getting it. Not happening. Not in a million years. <laughs> Well, that was crazy. I can blow this up. <laughs> That's crazy. What color are my eyes? Blue or green? Sometimes they're gray. They say your fucking eyes don't change color. Bullshit. Uh-oh. I broke it now. There we go. Yeah, your eyes change color. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to finish my smoke and uh, maybe run to town and see what's happening there. And then uh, go from there. But uh, take her easy, everyone. And uh, keep on cooking. Hey, get out of there! Fucking cat. Yeah. When you cook, cook with love. Actually, no. Cook how you want it made. Well, if you're cooking food for other people. That's how I always think. If I won't eat it, then I'm not going to serve it to somebody. I'm really picky with my food, too. I am one of the pickiest fucking eaters out there. Like, I kind of like everything just plain Jane. Sometimes it's better to be plain Jane and... Did you not just hear what I said, you stupid fuck? There you go. Yeah, go hide behind the door so I don't see you. Fucking cats. I got one that listens and one that don't. I got this one. He's fucking deaf. Or he just has selective hearing. Hey, Elmo. Yeah, see, he's fucking deaf as shit. Hey, Elmo. Oh, shit. That was a big B. But anyways. Yeah. You guys are cooking. Cook with love. And spread the joy. Nothing better than... I hate going to restaurants. And you're so hungry. And then you get the food in front of you. And the first bite you take, it's like... We still haven't paid for this. Just makes you not want to fucking pay. It makes you want to fucking dine and dash and get the fuck out of there and never come back. <laughs> fuck. Always, always so disappointed with my food. Every time I eat out. But now we got all our restaurant equipment here at the farm. So, I don't know. If I want to cook like I was cooking at the restaurant, I can do it here. Which is nice. Uh, yeah, got a big order of Petishka. That's a hundred dollar order right there. And then this guy wants Petishka made with 
sauerkraut inside instead. Did that guy with the pettish ka, who wanted ka sauerkraut in there, did he want potato in there too? Just straight sauerkraut. Huh. Do you think you'd mix it with potato? But, I don't know, some people really love their fucking sauerkraut. I think it's fucking gross. Yeah, like, I gag every time wife is fucking frying up sauerkraut in the house. So, we got a couple big orders. And now I'm getting the word out around town and to the locals and stuff. But the town we live near, <coughs> it's uh, still a lot of Ukrainians and Polish people. So everyone makes their own fucking pierogies. Notice I said everyone. Yeah, that's how I talk. It's not everyone. It's everyone. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stay on here for a little bit longer. Another like three and a half minutes. Oh, now I'm itchy. This is so funny. Now that I'm done touching food, now I get itchy. Now I can touch my face all I want. I hate doing that. I'm so OCD. Like I touch my face, I gotta wash my hands. I touch my hair, I gotta wash my hands. But that's how it should be in a kitchen. Fucking health inspectors and shit up here, up north. Holy fuck, they're fucking pain in the ass. Like, I really like to know how, like, in the States, like, say New York City, all these fucking food vendors just walking around with open food. Like, this is crazy. But yet, we can't do shit like that up here. Uh, a daycare? No, actually, a couple daycares in Alberta. Uh, I don't know, was it a... 375 cases of fucking uh, uh, food poisoning and really bad food poisoning like the type of food poisoning that could kill you I think there's like three kids in intensive care because of this food poisoning and it was all linked to a food manufacturer that was making meals for daycares without a fucking license or a permit they had no business license. They had no food permit to be making food in the first place. Fuck. And then, meanwhile, the health inspector goes after us. Like, this is fucked. One of the biggest things about the health inspector up here, she thinks that we lick the pierogies closed. Well, obviously, guys, if you've been watching, you know we don't fucking lick them closed. Uh, anything, just a little bit of water, just wet your finger a bit, and then... Yeah, they seal up fine. Uh, actually, on a funny note, let's do something funny here. Yeah. He's getting lit. Wanna get high? Wanna get high? This is my boy too. Number two. Oh, I should go give Elmo some. But anyways, everyone have a good Saturday. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Not much to watch, but it was fun. Maybe see you guys later. Peace.